Buck Paulson here with you, and today we're going to create movement in the studio by creating movement in the painting. We have another poshad for you, a painting done from memory, and then you build a painting from it. But I'm going to enhance this one before I make a big one. So let's show you what I have, and then I'll tell you what I'm going to do, then I'll do it. This small seascape actually looks like it covers a lot of territory because the wave is a little smaller. It's very lovely. Now, I have a nice light coming from up in the sky. We have a light down here. I want to create movement so that you can look at this and besides a, a composition, that each area that should be featured will be featured. So let's start in the sky. Let's go ahead with, uh, this is white, and I have just a little bit of, what do you want? I want a touch of orange, and I want a touch of raw sienna. There's not much difference in that, but just a little bit. This will give a little more impact right in there. You could almost say, well, that's the sun's down behind there without that being the sun. Okay, that gives me a good starting point. And then as we come to the cliffs, we have, uh, we need to have a jump down to this. This, I like this, but we need something in there. So I'm looking at taking a little blue. This is phthalo blue and a little white. And let's see if, and I wipe it off so I have very little paint. Yeah, I'm sort of creating the little bit of character within, so that will be the bridge across to this. The other thing that you would have, and I'll use just a little reddish with that blue on the brush, and just touch in, I need a little white. You just touch in that edge. See, that edge is still there, but it's not quite the contrast. You want the real contrast to be down here. So what will make that happen more so down here is let's take some Van Dyke Brown and we'll just, uh, I'll kind of outline that a little bit, just touching, and then stronger down at the back of it. So right away, you feel the strongest contrast is here rather than there. Okay, now continuing around for our movement, is uh, I'll take a flat sable brush, and let's take uh, you are white, and this is that little um, orangey tone we put up in the sky. I'll put just a touch of blue in it so it isn't quite as strong. And we come down, 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 down. Light travels in a straight line, so we'll put some light in there. Let it come over just a little bit. And we can have some just a little bit lower right in here. This, see, this, is, this does not take away from that impact direction. And then a little bit over here just at the top. And I, I want to have less light. And I'm taking a little of the blue and white. Let's see what this happens. What this happens. I will be your new grammar teacher right in there. That needs to be lighter. So I'll put a little more white on it. Oh, just like that. And then it was to come out, maybe just a slight semblance there. Not much, though. And I feel this, as this is splashing in, that's fine. But just a little lighter light there. And that, see, in leading to this wave, it doesn't hurt it at all. And then I want to go up into the sky because I want to continue across there just a little bit. So I have a little uh, purple and white. Let's see what you'll do. It gives you a little color, and it certainly gives you a, a path, a directional path. See, that doesn't detract from this. Now, that on the sun area, we, we have the highlight there. I'm jumping back to just a little bit of the orange and raw sienna and white. And I have that, so let's see what happens. Just a little secondary clouds. A 
like that. Just softening that a little bit like that. And what then will help as we come down, again, we're coming down, we're coming around. Ooh, gee, I like you. I'm going to leave you in, just a little orange touch. Coming down here, let's put a little water coming off the rock. So I have the same uh, blue color that we've used. And we, this is the little blue and white, just a little bit off the rocks. And then what would happen, this is a test question, what would happen when you have wet rocks and you have a sky that has a strong light? You have some of those lights being reflected in there. Okay, we, I think we have what we want. Now we've, we've helped that painting by coming down, coming around, coming up, coming back there. So it has a nice, nice feeling of movement. Composition and movement are very similar. I'm just blending a little bit as we go away. So I thank you for watching and make use of this in your paintings. Always look at them with an artist's eye. Look at them in a mirror if you want to reverse the composition. Turn it upside down. Does it look good? If it does, you have a winner. This program is funded by the North Dakota Council on the Arts, the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund, with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008, and by the members of Prairie Public. <laughs>